Karnataka's top two engineering college, which is none other than BMS College, right here in Bangalore. What is the highest package? It is 44 LPA, something that is huge, right? Average package comes out to be 10 LPA. Year of establishment is 1946. The mode of admission you can get into this college via K set or Comet K. So for the eight courses, you have the fee as in rupees 42,866. Now, if you talk about the unaided it fee, it is rupees one lakh seven uh, seven four nine five. Hello, little champions. How are you all? I hope that you are doing amazing. Well, yes, we are back again with Karnataka's top 20 engineering colleges list because we know that you were so confused and we saw the comments. We thought we could help you out really well by creating a list like this and putting down colleges which according to us are really good for you. So over here in this particular video, we'll be talking about Karnataka's top two engineering college, which is none other than BMS College right here in Bangalore. So Bangaloreans, we happy. And over here, we have one major thing that is the highest package offered. What is the highest package? It is 44 LPA, something that is huge, right? Average package comes out to be 10 LPA. So again, children who got admitted there do not very worry because probably you'll get it around 10 LPA at least, right? Now we go ahead about the placement rate. It is of the year 2023 directly from their website. It was 74%. So 74% placement rate is again something really good. So as we spoke about RVC, just like that here also, if 100 children are there, out of them 74 children got placed, that is really good, right? So yes, we go ahead, we talk more about the college because I know that you are interested in that and not me talking like this. So yes, the overview of college, we have the name of the college, Businayana Mukunda Das Srinivasaya College of Engineering or with love, what do you call it? BMSE. Okay. Year of establishment is 1946. We go ahead. Location is right here in Bangalore. And affiliation, it is affiliated to Vishweshwaraya Technological University, which is one of the best universities right there. Okay. We go ahead, we talk about the alumni, the notable alumni, the prestigious alumni over here. And we have a bunch of them. I could not really fit all of them over here, but there are so many, so many really good people over here. We'll start off with Dr. H. R. Nagendra. You know what? He was a former scientist, space scientist at NASA. Something really huge. Even we, we as a, even the KG children, they know what is NASA about? So everyone is aware about it and uh, we should actually think uh, how good the college is such that it uh, gave rise to these aspiring people who have uh, created notable change in our lives, right? By doing so many things for us. Now over here we have Padma Shri Dr. Ed Sri Vishweshwaraya again. He was awarded Padma Shri because of his very good contributions to what? India's industrial development. So can you think that someone probably, uh, uh, let's say, who, who was studying in this college years back, giving about a huge amount of contribution and still being remembered this day because of his contribution, right? So one day probably you also can be here We'll be talking about you as well. We will be remembering you as well for all your contributions that you have done. Over here, we have Mr. C.R. Satya sir as well. He is the former group director. He was working at ISRO, which is again something huge. So I read about him. I, I got to know a lot of things. He switched his job, contributed to so many things in his life. And now we are remembering him today, which is, as I said, something really good, right? So... That's all about the alumni. As I said, there are so many other people as well, but with, with the time constraints. So we thought of limiting ourselves to at least three of uh, these very important people, right? Now we go ahead, we talk about another most important thing, which is the placement record. Ma'am, can you tell me all about the placement record? Yes, I can definitely tell you about that. The highest CTC, which was offered in 2024 is 44 lakh. It's uh, what, uh, what say under discussion, it can be changed as well. Okay. Now average CTC 10 lakh, that is for sure. We go ahead, number of offers made 
1155 in the year 2023 so there is no data which is what fabricated everything is from official website over here 44 lakh this could probably change as the data could vary when the placement as the placement is still ongoing okay now we go ahead placement rate if we talk about that again it's there in their official website in the year 2023 the placement rate was 74 percent a graph over here same for the year 2023 where they have mentioned four very important things first one the total internship internships are really important i told you in the how to choose the college video because internship again defines uh, where you could get placed because it also gives you a certain amount of experience and exposure right so the internships were pretty well it was 470 total uh, 470 total number of internships we go ahead students who got placed it is 891 again something really good we talk about the total offers 1155 as i already said and last but not the least we have the placement rate for the year 2023 which came out to be 74 percent we go ahead we talk about the rankings so national institutional ranking framework set out a rank for them what is that let's check it so we had the college ranking coming in the bandwidth of 101 to 150 which is pretty good and now if you talk about the university ranking that is Vishveshraya technological university ranking over here we have 63 which is again pretty good now children on what parameters do they set these rankings basically as I said earlier about the check the faculties the quality of faculties do they have PhD do they have good experience about the children about the college what facilities do they provide how much internships are there how many publications are being put uh, down in the official websites everything is being checked and after that only they set the ranking okay so according to it it came in between the bank bandwidth of 101 to 150 which is good next thing the mode of admission you can get into this college via k set or comment k either way so children you can be really happy those who are from Karnataka can give this exam and get into this comment k is also for other children who are not basically from Karnataka you can give your try to Karnataka, Karnataka colleges through this exam okay now if you talk about fees something very important so the case it fees there are two things aided and unaided so the aided that is totally government aided colleges basically this is a aided college in that we have when you see about the courses you will be finding that there are aided courses provided by BMS and also unaided courses so for the aided courses you have the fee as in rupees 42,866 this is the provisional fee structure which they put very recently in their official website now if you talk about the unaided it fee it is rupees one lakh seven uh, seven four nine five so basically again I'm telling you this could change but this is somewhat what say you will get a frame of the fee by looking at this particular slide okay now if you talk about the comet K fee it is rupees two lakh twenty one thousand nine hundred sixty I have put an asterisk mark because this is not official so when it becomes official when we come to know that we will definitely put it but this is from unofficial websites which barely provides data uh, correct data itself but again as i said this is for you to understand that probably the fees could range around this area okay i hope that is clear so this data that you see over here it was given in karnataka's official website they gave the provisional fee structure and in that they put this thing okay now we go ahead we talk about the courses offered which is again something of very much importance right so we have aided courses children so BMS is a good choice uh, for people who do not who do not uh, what say who are not financially very strong these children can definitely apply for BMS if your uh, ranks are really good because they also provide aided courses where the fees could be comparatively lesser over here we have one two three four five courses starting with civil engineering and ending at mechanical engineering these are the number of seats that is for example for civil engineering you just have 60 seats not more than that you go ahead you talk about the cutoff range this is for k set so one major thing that you see over here for aided courses of this particular college you can just get admission into this with the help of k set exam and no other exam comment k is not over here okay 
so for this particular aided courses now if you see the cutoff range what do you mean by that basically if some person has got this particular cut uh, what's it rank three four three seven no if some person has got three four three five okay and uh, she or he wants to get into electronics and communication engineering so it's a really good news for them because their rank lies in this range that is cut off range means your rank should be below this then only you can get into this particular course so over here i see basically 3537 is the highest cut off and that highest cut off has gone for electronics and communication engineering if you talk about the lowest cut off it is for what industrial engineering and management that is the lowest cut off okay now, one very important thing that I want to say, I can show you with this. So, overall cutoff range for the college for the aided course is what? Starting from 3537 and ending up to 55047. Now, over here, if your rank comes in between this range, then probably you can get admission into the uh, courses that you wish to, where your rank actually satisfies the rank over here as well. Okay? So, this is for aided courses i'm telling you again and again we go ahead we have a set of unaided courses as well starting from aerospace engineering and going up to let's see mechanical engineering mm, again you have good number of choices so let's go back again and see over here we have the number of seats the cutoff range for KSET and one more addition, the cutoff range for Comet K. This is for the year 2023 because in 2024 they have not released it yet. So let's see what are the changes. So I have marked these things in grey Why? because this year the seats have increased. Okay, so you can see for artificial intelligence and machine learning, it's 360 as of now. It was not like that before. Same thing for computer science and engineering, it is 1200, which is again something that is new, right? And over here, the case of rank is also there. Now, let's see the highest and the lowest cutoff range. So, basically, the highest has went up to 1037 and it is for computer science and engineering. What about the lowest? Lowest is for this, that is civil engineering. What is the number? 64325. Now, if you talk about Comet K, same thing for Comet K also. Computer science and engineering has the highest cutoff range and over here, for civil engineering, the same thing. It is 31,536. Again, the lowest, uh, uh, basically, yeah, the lowest cutoff has we went for this thing. Okay. Now, if you want to get into this college, if you're not worried about the course that you want to get into, you just want to get into the college. That's all. So then your rank should be coming in this particular range. What range, ma'am? I'll show you if you want. Just a second. Yeah. So if you have appeared for case it, then probably your rank should be in between this particular range that is from 1037 that is the highest cutoff and the lowest cutoff same thing for comet k highest cutoff lowest cutoff in between that if your rank came probably you can get into the courses of your wish okay where your rank satisfies as well so over here one more change is there for electronics and communication engineering they have also increased their seats up to 360 again something really good so this is the cutoff range. Now, children, those of you are um, asking, this is my uh, cutoff. In which uh, shall I? Can I get into this particular college? Can, will I get this particular course? You can see it for yourself as well now. Okay. So it becomes really easy for you, right? Now we go ahead. What do we have? We have the facilities that is provided. Do we have a hostel? I see there's a big hostel over here. So yes, they definitely have a hostel for both boys as well as girls. Okay. Now we talk about another thing. Is there anything you want us to help you with? So as of now, we are obviously discussing about colleges, their cutoff rank and everything. But is there something more that we can add up? Is there something that we can help you with? So you definitely you have to put that as well as over here in the comment box. Okay. Now we go ahead. These two videos are very much important if you are if you are a person who is preparing for KSET. So you can watch these two videos for having a clear cut idea about the choice filling as well as a proper what say uh, summary of the top 20 colleges. It is by Ashwarya ma'am and it is by Anshuman sir. Both are really good at their work so probably you won't have any trouble understanding them. So definitely go have a watch. And now 
thank you for bearing me and uh, do not forget to like share and subscribe if you think that this particular video was really useful for you and if you have any comments also please do not forget to put them down do not forget to smile and be happy bye bye take care